Hello, welcome to this movie. In this movie, we're going to take some time series data and we're going to fit a decomposition model to that data. And in this movie, we're going to use SBSS. In a previous movie, we used Excel. And as a reminder, this is the Excel solution. So we've got the quarterly index for US consumer energy products from uh, with 2012 as the index 100. So you can see that in 2015, quarter one, time point one, the actual quarterly index was 120.2. In time point two, it was 90.6. In time point year 2020, quarterly one, it was 116.8. So when we used Excel, what we did was we fitted, um, we used, if I just take this graph down, we used the decomposition model where the series data is modeled by the trend, the seasonal component, the regular component, and the cyclical component. And to make matters a little bit easier, we actually just ignored the cyclical component in the Excel solution. So we use the series is modeled by the trend times the seasonal component times the regular component. And you can see there that we decenalized it uh, we then calculated what the typical seasonal component was by eliminating the regular component and then we fitted the model to that data set. And there's our charts as you can see there where the blue line is the original data series, the solid red line is the trend line and the green is the model fit using this decomposition model. Now it was quite complicated of course using Excel so what we can do is use SBSS. So this is our quarterly index which is exactly the same as in Excel. So they're exactly the same numbers as those. Okay so what we're going to do is we first because we've got a time series data set we need to define date and time. So all we do is click on select data and then we need to define date and time. Now in our particular case we're dealing with years and quarters and the first year is 2015. Okay and it's a quarter four. So click OK and after a few seconds in the output file it'll tell you what you've done but we're interested in the data file. So there's my data file there. Now what we can do now is we can now use SBSS to fit the decomposition model and remember in Excel we'll use a multiplicative model as you can see there because multiplication. Okay so let's go back to SBSS so all we need to do is click on analyze click on forecasting and then click on seasonal decomposition. There we are. So all we need to do now is to transfer the quarterly index which is my series data there into the variables box we need multiplicative because that's our model. Okay, and then once we've done that, all we need to do is click OK. It'll tell us that it's going to calculate four columns of data or four extra variables of data with each variable in a separate column. That column, that column, that column, and that column. So just say OK. Um, on the output file, it'll tell you what you've done as a reminder. It also tells you what your seasonal factors are there. Okay, but in the actual data file, you'll see that it gives these extra numbers. It tells you what the error is. It tells you uh, what uh, the uh, SAS is, which is the uh, seasonally adjusted series. Uh, it tells you what SAS is, which that's the seasonally adjusted. SAF is the um, typical seasonal index. And STC is the trend component. Now to get the fit, we need to transform. So we click transform, compute variable. And let's type fit in there. And what we want is we want the seasonal factors. And we want to multiply that by the trend cycle. Notice it says trend cycle. SBSS incorporates the cycle component into the calculation which we didn't do so our answers will be slightly different but also please note that the way it calculates trend it doesn't fit a trend line regression line 
it actually uses a moving average. So our results will be slightly different. So when we click OK and we go back to, you'll see there, they're the fit values. Okay. And if I do a screenshot and transfer across to Excel, you'll see that the values are slightly different. Okay. And as I said, that's because, there we are. So that's because, so you can see there that our Excel value is 118.2. That's the first fit in SPSS. It's 119.22. But please note the trend values are slightly different because as I said, it uses a moving average type method to calculate the trend where we've used a trend line, regression line to fit the trend. And also SPSS incorporates the cyclical component which we haven't done. So we'll get our results are slightly different. Now if we go back to SPSS and if you wanted to create the actual graphs etc then you, ca you can quite easily etc. Okay so if you want to model the graphs then you can uh, do that quite easily. So you could say we want uh, a line, we want multiple values of individual cases, click define. So all we need to do now is say we want the lines represent and then I think what we'll do is we'll fit the trend as well and we'll fit the fit. And the variable obviously is just a uh, case number. So we click OK and after a few seconds there's your graph. Okay, so you can see that the blue line represents your quarterly index. The red line represents the trend, but remember it's a moving average trend. It's not a trend line like we did in Excel. And then the green line represents the actual fit. Okay, so that's it for today. Bye for now.